The Joplin, Missouri tornado of May 22nd will be the largest insurance event in Missouri history. A tornado a mile wide and six miles deep that devastated this community of 50,000 and we lost 158 lives in that tornado and damaged about 75 percent of the city. This disaster has been record levels. Uh, the output, the cubic foot per second out of the dam and also out of the Stillen Basin are double what we've had in the past or recorded history. Therefore, there are certain areas that are underwater have had higher levels of water than they've ever had in the past. Well, I think it's without a doubt the worst disaster Alabama's ever had. An outburst, you might call it, of tornadoes across our state on April 27th. I think there were 64 or 5 in total, and several of them were very, very strong tornadoes. Over the past summer, we've probably had about eight different wildfires strike Arizona. The most uh, damaging was the wildfire, about a half a million acres destroyed. 72 homes and businesses just totally destroyed, not to mention the thousands and thousands of people that were evacuated from their homes as a result of the fire. It really was a historic disaster for Pennsylvania. People compared it to the Agnes flooding we had back in the mid-70s, but it was in many respects worse. We had over 400 homes that were complete losses, many, many more that were damaged by flooding. There was a dozen people that lost their lives. So for us, this was a, a really historic disaster. Actually, I am one of the flood victims myself. I have about three and a half feet of water on my main floor. So this does take on a personal note. The people that are in my division, we do a, an excellent job of helping people during a disaster recovery. But a lot of the people in the division have been affected themselves and are also assisting other people. So we do understand the nature and the frustration that these people are going through at this particular time. Initially, it's just the pure emotional response of such devastation. You know, there aren't very many events where a national meteorologist will break down in tears on television when they're witnessing a loss like this. Um, and so just dealing with that type of emotion for our residents um, is very compelling for our people in our department. I've seen every hurricane since Camille, I guess, and every several earthquakes, and, and this had a more dramatic personal impact on me than anything I've ever seen, probably because of the number of deaths and the absolute uh, fierceness of the storms. Well, the actual building process hasn't started yet because the flood isn't over, but we stand ready as a division of insurance and also We'll work with any of the insurance companies that when this, this disaster is over, that anything that we can do to assist or expedite the recovery process, we'll work with them to do that. I think the insurance companies involved with in property insurance and automobile insurance in the state of Alabama are going to pay out billions of dollars. Um, and that will go toward people buying cars, repairing cars, fixing homes, and in a lot of cases, building new homes. We knew how to deal with the different areas of the state we know where they are, we know the people basically that live there, the types of houses that are there, um, the needs of those people, where hotels are located, where temporary housing can be located, and all those kinds of things that I think someone from the outside um, would not know without a great deal of study and a great deal of consternation in getting there. People are still, even you know, weeks after the disaster, still trying to identify the damage. They're in the process of digging out and starting the process of recovery and thankfully the insurance industry here has responded well. We have 20 disaster recovery centers open up throughout the Commonwealth and I'm really proud to say that there is an insurance department representative in each one of those disaster recovery centers helping individual consumers every day with the issues associated with flooding. It really makes me proud to be the commissioner. Disaster preparedness not only means clearing the area around your home to protect from fire damage, but it also means checking your insurance policy. Check it every year. Make sure you have the right amount of coverage that you need, that the limits are there, um, that the coverage is you want. If you want to purchase flood insurance because there is a 30-day waiting period for that type of coverage. So you really just need to do an insurance checkup. Joplin, Missouri will be rebuilt because of two major ingredients, resilience and reinsurance. The resilience of Missourians as they rebuild their community, but also the reinsurance capacity from the global marketplace. In just five weeks after this event, insurers and reinsurers have reinvested over $500 million into this community. Think about it. 
half a billion dollars in five weeks to a community of 50,000. That's how you rebuild a community and that's why you buy insurance.